welcome to hi this is your garden room hi this is hi what's up doggies this is your garden room mate craig and today i'm going to give you a tour of my bell pepper farm so keep on watching and see ya Now we are done opening our tunnels and now let's get into the bell peppers and look how good and how amazing the fruits are. All right, so if we take a look at one of these bell peppers, so as you can see, I applied some uh, pesticides to uh, fight against insect infestation. So sometimes there are problems that you can see immediately like this one. So this poor little fella is infected with insect's egg. The insect punched its eggs in here, so now they're growing. So we need to pull this out and throw it away. Also, this is one of the other problem. The insect that infested this one is what we call the mites. And we need to um, apply some pesticides every week if the infestation still persists. Also, another problem is the caterpillar These are small worms that bore holes into the leaves, which is not really good for the plants because, as you can see, these worms had been eating this, the part of the leaves. Oh, look at this. This is another problem that I have. So, uh, for now, I haven't sprayed yet, but yeah, we need to remove it like that. And many more or problems, insect infestation. So yes, you really need to be patient at the same time. You really need to be observant of what's going on with your plants. Well, another thing I didn't mention is the use of this straw. So this string. So this is a straw string made out of plastic. And I didn't mention about the use of this one because, you know, because this is a small tunnel and the plants may grow too much because of some mishandling like that. But of course, for sure, the, the normal and the average height of this plant should be like this. It should not be going over. But most of the time, the plants are going over. If, especially if you don't know how to maintain, how to apply good fertilizers for good growth at the same time for maintain growth of your plants. And going back to what I'm talking about, the use of this straw is to it's used to help this bell peppers for them not to go down for example like this so they will not fall to the ground because if they fall to the ground there's a higher possibility that these bell peppers will be infected or the rats will be eating the fruits of these bell peppers so it's much better if the fruits are on higher ground than on the ground because the ground is a little bit uh, contaminated it might contaminate uh, the fruits and it insects might fest it easily rats may eat them as well so that's one of the good ways to use this at the same time for the bell peppers not to go down <laughs>